Thanks for coming back for the news at 530. I'm Colin Mayfield and I'm Vanessa Rufus. A Charlotte artist had suspected for months that her art had been stolen. She eventually learned it was indeed stolen and artificial intelligence did it. Yeah, what do you do at that point? WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal shows us with AI scrapping work that creators rely on selling to make a living. Many artists are asking, where's the money? You know, I've, I've tried to get it taken down and everything, but it doesn't really matter because it'll just get scraped again and it'll end up back on the website. So, um, yeah, uh, it's kind of a, a dystopian thing to be dealing with now. Eliana Esquivel has been making art since she was 16, sometimes even when she was living in her car. Art was her way out back then and is her full-time job now. When she figured out her work was scraped for AI, she was in the beginning of a residency at Goodyear Arts at Camp North End. And to see that it was scraped and that people are just reproducing it for free um, with no context as to how it was made or like why it was made, they, like, I don't know, that was a really uh, kind of like sobering moment of like, artists need to protect their work a little bit more. Because of this, she decided to explore a medium safer from AI, sculptural work. There's something so honest about it, and it's so refreshing. It's, it's like taken a lot of weight off of me just to get to explore that side of art that I never really cared that much about until this happened. Still, she's worried it's getting harder to tell what role AI plays in any form of art. Art will never be the same. You can't really put it back in the box. Helen King, the pre-law advisor at Johnson C. Smith University, says society is in a gray area when it comes to AI. Oh, we're in many ways in the wild, wild west trying to figure out where the parameters are. Um, so right now, I think until the law and, and industry standards and even academic practices begin to standardize and catch up, we're going to see a lot of issues pop up like this where we don't really know where to go from here. Esquivel said she believes for real change to happen, more people need to speak up in support of artists. It's taking over everything. And, you know, if you if you tell the artist to stop whining when they're bringing this up, then when they come for your job, you have to starve in silence. Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. And well, to Colin's point, right, what do you do? There's a system researchers yeah. at the University of Chicago have been working on. It allows artists to protect their work from AI. And if you'd like to learn more about that, you can look for Jane's story inside the WCNC Charlotte app.